Tonight, a group of local veterans tells us the clock is ticking to find a replacement for their one-of-a-kind unit. On July 30th, a local color guard will present the colors at a Rays game, but the replacement they're looking for has to meet, shall we say, unique qualifications. Andrew Dowd explains. This is my dad and his Purple Heart. He was a World War II combat vet. And uh, as a young Marine and my Purple Heart. Commitment to country runs in his family. Today, retired Marine Rudy Salas represents the Stars and Stripes in a new role as a member of a color guard. It kind of takes me back to the roots in, in ROTC. Solace and his group of veterans have presented the colors at several big events, including the RNC and Buccaneers games. We work at it, stay sharp, and, you know, we run this like a, a military function. But to function as a complete unit, they need five. Right now, they're down a veteran and have less than two weeks until their next big event. It's a special unit. And I think it takes special individuals. It also takes a unique qualification. Each member of this color guard is an amputee. And I tell the guys, you know, be proud. Solace lost his leg in an explosion during a deployment to Vietnam in January 1967. His mission today is to inspire other veterans and show that the loss of a limb does not have to mean limitations. They can't see our faces. They don't know who we are. But what we represent, they see immediately. And that's the ticket. If you or someone you know is interested in joining Solace's group, we posted their information to our website, abcactionnews.com. Solace says they will have plenty of time to get them trained and ready. We're live in the newsroom. Andrew Dowd, ABC Action News.